Johnson City is a city in three Tennessee counties, but mostly in Marston County, with a population around 72,500 people, making it the eighth largest city in Tennessee. Located at the intersection of I-26, US 321, about 60 miles north of Asheville, North Carolina, at an elevation of 1,634 feet. Johnson City was founded in 1856 by Henry Johnson as a railroad station called Johnson's Depot and later became a major hub for the southeast with three railroad lines in the downtown area. Johnson City was incorporated in 1869 and elected as first mayor Henry Johnson in 1870. The, the town became a boom town until the National Depression of 1893, and this halted the growth of the town. During the Prohibition era of the 1920s, Johnson City earned the nickname of Little Chicago. It is said that it was a distribution center for Chicago gangster Al Capone. Alcohol from mountain moonshiners was said to have been smuggled to northern cities through Johnson City. Today, Johnson City's economy is mostly fueled by East Tennessee State University and the MedTech Corridor. Like most cities this size, Johnson City has a large variety of retail businesses, local and national chain restaurants, and much, much more. Jonesboro is the county seat of Washington County, Tennessee, with a population around 5,800 people. It's located on US 321, just a few miles west of Johnson City, Tennessee at an elevation of 1,729 feet. Jonesboro is Tennessee's oldest town. Jonesboro was founded in 1779 while it was under jurisdiction of North Carolina. This was 17 years before Tennessee became a state. Jonesboro was named after North Carolina State Legislator Willie Jones, who had supported the state's westward expansion in 1784, it became the capital of the state of Franklin, named after American founding father Benjamin Franklin. However, Congress never recognized Franklin as a state, and the area was reclaimed by North Carolina in late 1788. Today, Jonesboro is a tourist destination because of its statute as the oldest town in Tennessee, with so many old buildings dating back to the 1700s. Jonesboro is also the home of the International Storytelling Center. The first full weekend in October, the National Storytelling Festival is held, drawing people from all over the world for more than 35 years of Appalachian traditional storytelling. Floyd is the county seat of Floyd County, Virginia, with a population around 450 people. It's located on US 221 and Virginia Highway 8, about 8 miles north of the Blue Ridge Parkway, at an elevation of 2,493 feet. Floyd was first named Jackson after Andrew Jackson, but was later changed to Floyd after Virginia Governor John Floyd. Floyd, like most mountain towns, has turned to tourism and mountain music with its Floyd's Country Stores Friday Night Jamboree, which has been going on each Friday night for many years. The town has become a regional destination for bluegrass and mountain music. Floyd is also home to many other musical venues featuring different styles of music. Floyd is the home to the counterculture movement of the 1960s and 70s. In the 1970s, hippies and artists started moving to Floyd to live off the grid. The town has been called Virginia's hippie town, funky town of Floyd, but whatever you call it, Floyd is the most unique town in Virginia, or maybe in all of Blue Ridge Mountains. Floyd is small, but there's much to do and to see in Floyd, with shopping, entertainment, dining, and so much more. Floyd, Virginia should be on everyone's bucket list of small towns to visit. Reiner is a census designated place in Montgomery County, Virginia, with a population around 1,200 people. 
It's located on Virginia Highway 8, about five miles south of Christiansburg, at an elevation of 2,054 feet. On my ride from Floyd to Christiansburg on Virginia Highway 8 was new to me, and I was not expecting to see anything but rolling farmland and a house now and then. Coming into Reiner, I turned my camera on, thinking I was starting into Christiansburg, but I was wrong. It was a small community of Reiner, Virginia. Although it was small, I was impressed. With three schools, elementary, middle, and high school, a bank, post office, churches, restaurants, gas stations, barbershop, rescue squad, fire department, golf course, and many more shops and stores. Although this video is short, there's nothing short about Reiner. Christiansburg is the county seat of Montgomery County, Virginia, with a population around 22,500 people. It's located along I-81, US-11, US-460, about 30 miles west of Roanoke, at an elevation of 2,133 feet. Christiansburg was first called Hans Meadows after a Dutch priest, Friar Hans, that arrived in the area in the early 1700s. In the 1700s, settlers started moving into the area from Pennsylvania and eastern Virginia. Montgomery County was formed in 1776. A town began to grow, and it was named in honor of William Christian, an early settler to the region and noted Indian fighter. The Great Wilderness Road followed today's route US 11 through Christiansburg, and the town became known for its taverns and rest stops along the way. Christiansburg was established by an act passed by the Virginia General Assembly in 1792 and later incorporated in 1833. Noted people that was associated with Christiansburg was George Washington, who was known to have visited Christiansburg. Daniel Boone stayed in town for a time. A warrant for Daniel Boone's arrest was issued in 1774 on a debt charge, but not executed because he had gone to Kentucky. It said that Boone later paid the debt. Davy Crockett lived in Christiansburg and worked as an apprentice to a local newspaper printer. Crockett also worked for 18 months at John Snyder's Hattery Shop on West Main Street. William Clark of the Lewis and Clark Expedition lived in Christiansburg on East Main Street and Meriwether Lewis would visit Christiansburg on occasions. In 1808, Christiansburg was the site of a rifle duel between Thomas Lewis and John McHenry, and both men were killed. Dr. John Floyd was the attendant surgeon for the duel. John Floyd later became governor of Virginia, and this duel led to the passing of a bill in 1810 outlawing dueling in Virginia. Christiansburg has had a very colorful past, but today it has a very bright future. Bradford is an independent city in Virginia with a population around 16,500 people. It's located along I-81 and the Lee Highway, US-11, about 10 miles west of Christiansburg at an elevation of 2,103 feet. Radford started as a small village along New River that drew travelers for fresh water and food on their way west on the Great Wilderness Road. It was first called Ingalls Ferry because of the ferry over the New River east of the town. In 1854, the Virginia and Tennessee Railroad came to town and a large train station was built near Lovely Mountain and the area was referred to as Lovely Mount. After this, Lovely Mount became a boom town. Between 1838 and 1940, Dr. John B. Radford built a 40-foot square, two-story brick home at Lovely Mount. And after his death, people referred to the area as Radford. And in 1892, Radford was incorporated and the name was officially changed to Radford. In 1913, a woman's college was opened in Radford. Then, in 1924, it became Radford College, 
and in 1979, it was renamed to Radford University. In 1940 and 1941, the Radford Army Ammunition Plant was built by the U.S. military, with the railroad and Lynchburg Foundry as major employers. This created more growth and many families moved to the area. Today, Radford has much to do and see with its Clean Coal Museum, Farmer's Market, shops, dining, entertainment, motel and accommodations, and five area parks. Dublin is a town in Pulaski County, Virginia, with a population around 2,600 people. It's located along I-81, US-11, and Virginia Highway 100, about six miles northeast of the town of Pulaski at an elevation of 2,083 feet. Legend has it that the town was named after New Dublin Presbyterian Church, which was named after Dublin, Ireland. New Dublin Presbyterian Church was built in 1875 using part of a church that was built in 1840. So it appears that Dublin's history dates back to the mid-1800s. Coming down east and west Main Street, I realize there's no central downtown area. Businesses are spread out along US 11 and up and down Virginia Highway 100 to the interstate. Just outside of Dublin's town limits is the world's largest Volvo truck plant that employs around 3,000 people. Dublin is the home of New River Valley Regional Jail, a 449-bed facility serving Bland, Carroll, Floyd, Giles, Grayson, Pulaski, with counties plus the city of Radford. Newburn is an unincorporated community in Pulaski County, Virginia. Newburn was the county seat of Pulaski County from 1839 until the courthouse burned in 1892. Newburn is located on Newburn Road, the old Wilderness Road, about two miles south of Dublin at an elevation of 2,119 feet. Newburn was founded by Adam Hance when the Great Wagon Road passed through his land grant of 1,444 acres. Hence, being a businessman, saw the opportunity to start a town. He laid out 28 lots along the wagon road and offered free timber for a log house to the first four buyers, providing they were built in, with his specifications. By 1819, he had sold 17 lots and his town began to grow. There were taverns and inns, a blacksmith shop, a post office, three stores that sold everything from nails to violin strings. The name Newburn was selected because most of the early settlers were from Switzerland, so it was named after Bern, Switzerland. Today, the Hans House is a Wilderness Road Regional Museum with several outbuildings of the period. Newburn is a National Historic District with 47 historic buildings that include residential, commercial, and institutional dating as early as the early 1800s. Across the street from the museum is the site of the 1839 courthouse that burned, but in the 1839 jail is still standing today. If you're on Interstate 81 and see the Wilderness Road Regional sign, it's well worth the stop. Pulaski is the county seat of Pulaski County, Virginia, with a population around 9,000 people. It's located on the Lee Highway, US 11, just north of I-81, at an elevation of 1,903 feet. The county and the town took their names from Count Casimir Pulaski, a Revolutionary War hero from Poland that served in Marston's army. Pulaski was incorporated in 1886, and before the name was changed to Pulaski, it was known as Martin's Tank. In 1890, 12 mining companies were in operation in the town of Pulaski, mining iron ore, zinc, and coal. The first hospital opened on East Main Street in 1915, 
largely funded by the Allied Chemical Company. If there's one thing that Pulaski is best known for, it would have to be the historic Caffey Ballpark. It's the ninth oldest professional minor league baseball park in use in America today and home to the Pulaski Yankees, an affiliate of the New York Yankees. Although the Yankees were replaced by a new franchise in 2021, it's now the Pulaski River Turtles. In 2019 and 2020, it was voted as the best rookie level ballpark in America in Ballparks Digest annual best of the ballparks competition. Old Fort is a town in McDowell County, North Carolina, with a population around 800 people. It's located along I-40 and U.S. 70 in western North Carolina at an elevation of 1,447 feet. The area was first occupied by the Cherokee and Catawbas. The Spaniards explored the area in the 1500s. Then in the mid-1700s, English and Scottish settlers arrived. In 1869, the Western North Carolina Railroad came to the area. Then in 1872, the town of Catawba Vale was founded. But a year later, the name was changed to Old Fort in honor of its beginning as Davidson's Fort. 27 years, the town hosted Friday Night Mountain Music concerts in downtown Old Fort from 1998 to 2014. The concert attendance became very large with many musicians, but the music has not stopped with the Mountain Gateway Museum Music Jam on most Sundays throughout the year from 2 to 4. A stockade was built on the land of brothers George and Samuel Davison during the Revolutionary War, and it was called Davison's Fort. The fort was used by military expeditions and a site for trading between settlers and Native Americans. Davis Fort was the westernmost outpost of this day. If you're headed west to Asheville, then Old Fort should be your first stop. With shopping, dining, museums, and outdoor activities, it's a good place to spend the day. <music>